Okay guys, so today is YouTube Tech Tip Thursday and I'm telling you today I found a really cool thing. You're gonna love it. I love it. It's super easy and of course it's free. We gotta love that word. It's completely free. Today I'm gonna show you how to get a call button or a calling little widget put onto your website. Now it doesn't make a difference if you have Joomla, WordPress, TypePad, Blogger, or any other kind of website. This is going to work for you. This is for you. You don't have to get out a telephone number. You can have them. You can have it emailed to you. You can log. It's cool. I don't even know all the details of it, but uh, come on in. Let's check it out. Okay, so what it is is speakpipe.com. Again, that's speakpipe.com. And what it will let you do is it will let you set up a voicemail widget and if you want you can set up a voicemail application to your Facebook page. Now keep in mind this is in beta which means it's being tested out. So there may be a few things but this pretty much right here is what you get. You have a little call to action here saying hey send us a voicemail message or send us a voicemail and you can start recording just by putting it in here. Um, so anyways, here's all you do to get started is you click on that big get started button right there in the middle. You can create an account. Now I've already created one account so I'm gonna have to create another account. Let's do chuck at cheetah pm.org. I'll make a password and that's as simple as that. Now the next thing it's going to ask you to do is you need to install the SpeakPipe widget on your website. And you got to choose what kind of website you have. If your website is Joomla based, click on that. If it's a Tumblr website, click on that. If it's a blogger, you know, Google's blogger, click on this one. If it's anything other, click on this. I personally use WordPress, so we're going to click on WordPress. But what you need to do first is you need to create a personal voicemail voicemail page. So let's call it uh, Chuck. Well, let me go by my one of my handles. Let's go to Tampa Bamfa and hit create, and that's taken care of. So I'm just going to copy this. Now, of course, I can edit the settings on it. Add a picture, link a website, share it as a tweet, put the link on my website, so on and so forth, go to the voicemail page, yada, yada, yada. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, like I said, I personally use WordPress. That's my poison that I pick. And it gives me, you know, it gives me a step-by-step a, a step with pictures, ooh, step-by-step uh, step how to install this onto WordPress. So I'm going to go into another screen and I'm going to pick up one of my WordPress blogs. Let's call it Google plus local places.com. Here's what it looks like before. We don't see anything right up here on the right hand side. I'm going to go log in. Oops, error fail. Wow, wow. Wrong one to go to. Let's try this one. Okay, so I've logged in. I'm at my control panel. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to Appearance and to Widgets. Just like it said, Appearance and then to Widgets. I am going to figure out, first of all, where do I want to put this at? So let's go look where I want to put it at first. Let me stop my video. Um, you will 
no idea. So let's go see how this is going to work. I'll put it on the home page widget. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the text. So I'm going to hold and drag this over. We'll put that right there. Now my direction said drag the widget text over to a widget area. So I've done that. Copy and paste my my coding, which is all this right here. Go back over there, drop it in there. But pay attention here. It said do not leave the title blank. So make sure that you leave the title blank. The next step, I'm going to save. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back over. I'm going to refresh. And let's see. And there it is, right there. Let me pause this. It's right here and it says, hey, leave me a voicemail message and I can click on this and I can click on this and it starts recording and of course I got to allow so blah 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 one two three four five six blah, blah, blah have a good day so I've just left a voicemail message I'm gonna hit stop it's gonna process the audio put your contact name in there Chuck Chuck at abc.com and send it. It's going to wait for it to do its thing. And it's done its thing, so I can close my window now. And now I can go over to my, to my page and I can click on the inbox. And there's my message. Now, isn't that cool or what? So, anyways, um, you get 200 minutes of storage while the speak pipes in, in uh, beta. I don't know the details of it, but I hope you use this. I hope you have fun with it. Comment below, let me know how it goes. Of course, I'm a social media and video expert. If I can help you, give me a call. Or go to my go to my go to my website, floridamobilefusion.com and leave me a voicemail. Toodles!